Hey guys! So today, I'm going to be doing my wig collection slash review video, and I've wanted to do this video for a while, and right now I actually own 16 wigs, soon to be 18, I just bought two more, of course. <laughs> so when those get here, I'll do an update on those, but for now, without further ado, let's get into my wig collection. <laughs> to start off, I'm going to show you guys how I actually put my wigs on since a lot of people are always surprised at how I get all this under my wigs, especially the short ones. So what I do is I usually have, I prefer black mesh wig caps just because they're easier for me to work with. So I just put it on, like so. <laughs> and then it's kind of like a headband when you first put it on, like this. And I stretch it over. And then I tuck my braid into the bottom of it. Like so. <laughs> and I try to make sure that all of my hair is down here towards the nape of my neck. I did this uh, in my purple ombre tutorial. I showed you guys a little bit. But I figured I'd do it again since it's a wig video. I figured it was appropriate. And then I take the bottom of the stocking cap and I bring it up here. And I take a couple of bobby pins. And then I just secure it up there so it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> put the bobby pins up there and then if there's any stray hair that escaped just tuck it back in so it should look something like this like a lunch lady you know like in the in high school in those beautiful hair nuts so my first wig that I'm going to show you guys is a black and white cosplay wig that I got off eBay and this was eight dollars I no it was nine dollars and it was just listed as a cosplay Tokyo ghoul wig and this is what it looks like. Let me slap it on for you. And this wig is not a lace front, it's just regular cosplay wig. There's no hooks or anything like that. There is an adjustable strap on the inside if you want to make it tighter or looser. It has little hooks. And what I usually do, especially for shorter wigs, I go from the back and I just kind of pull up and look fabulous. <laughs> so what I do is I tuck all that big bunch of hair that I have underneath there and voila! <laughs> you look like a hot mess. <laughs> so this is what this one looks like and I usually style it like this where I have some of my ears showing and it's just a two-tone wig. It's really comfortable. For the price I was really surprised at how good this wig is and Although it's not a lace front, so if you get too close or if you don't part it the right way, you will see some of the wig cap. But honestly, $9, this is an insanely good wig for that price. And you can flip it either way, you can have the white bangs going over, the black. I just really like how it's short, but it's not too short. <laughs> and I always feel like Corella Deville when I wear this wig. But yeah, this is my, my first little wig to show you guys. So this is my next wig. This is a dark purple lace front from LuxWigs.com. And it's actually a two-tone wig. It is dark purple, but then in the back, it has some black undertones to it. <laughs> and the cut is just perfect, because it like frames my face. And normally, you can wear this, because it's a, a lace, lace front wig, you can wear this however you want, but I personally am not a fan of middle parts, so I usually wear my parts off to the side. But the beauty of this wig is that you can push it around and it won't really show anything. If you look really closely, it almost, like, you can see because there's a little bit of lace left over from when I cut it. But from farther away, it just looks like, you know... It could be like your normal hair, like you can push it around, and you can change the part if you want. And the difference between the last wig and this one is that this is a lace front, so it comes with uh, some lace that's attached to the front of the hair, and it, it comes down to about here on your forehead, and you cut it with scissors. And the good thing about a lace front is that, with this one in particular, you can part it however you want. Like say if you wanted to have a crazy part like this, or if you want to part it over here, 
there's a special section in this one where it's made specifically so that you can do that without it looking like, you know, a fake piece of hair. And when you first get the wig, it has, you know, the lace on it, and the reason they do that is so that you can make your own hairline, so to speak. So if you don't like the way this one is, I left it as it was because I liked it. But you can cut like a widow's peak in it if you want, you can cut bangs, you can style it to however you want it. And this is one of the more expensive wigs that I have. It was from Luxwig.com, and because it's a lace front, lace fronts usually tend to run on the more expensive side. This one was only $40 though, so this one was pretty good. Especially because it is a shorter wig, so that also cuts down on the price a little bit. You can't see the wig cap through the hair at all. You know, a lot of wigs, I find, you can see the wig cap through some of them for some lace fronts, and that really is... It doesn't look good, so I usually have to cover it with a hat, but for this one, you don't have to do that, which is great. But if you want to know, you know, I'll list all of the websites and the wig descriptions and their names and such if you want to go check them out down in the description box, so... Yay! <laughs> for this one, this is actually one of the first wigs that I ever bought, and at the time, I really wanted to have black hair. So I saw this on eBay, I didn't read the description. Read the description when you buy your wigs, otherwise you may get surprises, like I did. And I wasn't too upset about it, but this wig, I thought it was black. It looked black in the picture, but it's actually a really dark forest green, and which ended up being fine. It's really cute. It's a cosplay wig. I bought it on eBay for, I think, oh gosh, $23. And it was a cosplay wig. I don't know if anybody watches One Piece, but it, this is supposed to be for Nico Robin, one of the characters. And I actually really liked it because it's quite soft. And it's a very good quality wig. Uh, cosplay wigs usually are better quality when you look on, if you're looking for eBay sellers and stuff like that, usually if you put in cosplay wig, you'll get a better quality wig than if you just put in like a fashion wig or just a party wig, something like from Party City. It's held up quite nicely. I've had this for over a year now and it hasn't really shed that much and the quality of the hair is still really great. It's very soft and I just, I still really like it. I don't know if you can see, it has a couple of highlights and lowlights. It's dark green predominantly, but there is some black in there and some lighter green. But yeah, this is my Nico Robin cosplay wig. <laughs> now this wig was another favorite of mine for a long time. This is also one of the first wigs that I bought off eBay. And it's just a blue uh, pink ombre wig. More of like a pastel goth kind of a thing. And I got it off eBay from a seller named Wig Fever. And it was $30, it's 23 inches long, and I love this wig, but it is on the lower quality end. I mean, you can't really see the wig cap through the hair, but if you move it a lot, like in the back, you'll be able to see it. But when I first got this wig, the curls were kind of making it up to here. They were a lot tighter, and as time has gone on, they've kind of loosened up, and which isn't bad. It's not a bad look, but just in case you're wondering, if you're thinking about buying this wig, it does kind of let go of its curl after a while. Now this one, I really really love the style of this wig. It's gorgeous. It's from uh, the Bang Bang collection of Rockstar Wigs and on rockstarwigs.com and this one is called Black Widow and this wig, ugh, the movement, the bounciness of the curls, it's just <laughs> but this wig was $50 and I actually got, I think, 10% off because I used Made You Look, also known as Creative Boss. Uh, she has an affiliate code with them, so I got 10% off or 15% off, I forget which, one of those. <laughs> but oh my gosh, this wig! <laughs> it is so soft and bouncy and the curls are just to die for and I love the style of the blunt bangs. So. This wig is, is pretty awesome. My one complaint about it though is that I don't know why they designed it this way. It's not a lace front, obviously because it has bangs, but in the front here, for some of the more expensive wigs, they have clips in them so they kind of slide in and make sure they doesn't slip around in your hair. And for this one, it has three of them in the front, which is unusual, but even more so, they're kind of towards the front of it. So, for me, my hairline is kind of back here, so that doesn't really work, so there's nothing for it to really grab onto if I want the bangs to be this far down. So the, the few times that I've worn it out in public, as the day will go on, like at work and I went out to dinner with it once, it will slowly slide back until it looks like this. 
I don't find this attractive at all. <laughs> I mean, this isn't even that bad. Like, I've gone to go check myself in the bathroom, and I look like this. I look like I got a terrible haircut. <laughs> and it's just, you know, I'll go in the bathroom and be like, No! <laughs> I've been out in public looking like this for the past hour, and I had no idea. So, that's my one complaint about this wig. Otherwise, it's gorgeous. I love the color. It's a little shiny, but that's to be expected with synthetic wigs. And uh, I love that it's just, it's jet black. It's like really, really dark black. And the curl, I can't say enough about the curl. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite wigs that I bought that was on the, the higher end of things. I love this wig so much, but it has quite a few problems, unfortunately. This is Salem called Salem. It's uh, from a company called Lush Wigs. It used to be Geisha Wigs, but they changed owners and along with that the name. And it's described as a gothic long wig and it's cut in layers. You have the bangs and then you have these guys right here and then it goes all the way down to these. And it's really beautiful. This is actually the most realistic uh, synthetic wig that I have. Like when you go out in the sunlight, it doesn't look shiny at all. It looks like real human hair. Unfortunately, it sheds like nobody's business. Not when you're wearing it necessarily, but it tangles very easily. And when I brush it out to untangle it, you come out with like a fistful of hair. And the problem with wigs is that the hair doesn't grow back. <laughs> so once it's gone, that's it. So I've had this for about a year now. And I haven't worn it that much just because of that reason, so it's still in decent condition, but it has thinned out quite a bit. I love this wig so much, but I wish it didn't shed. Ugh, oh, such a pain in the butt. Another one of my favorites, this is also from Lush Wigs, and it's called a Magenta Ombre. And this is, I think, 35 pounds on their website, which converts to about $50 in US. And this one, oh, it's beautiful. It's really nice and thick. And the color, it goes from like a, a blackish purple into like a purple and then a really bright hot pink. And I love it. It's so pretty. This one also sheds a little bit, but it's not nearly as terrible as Salem. Salem is the worst as far as uh, shedding goes in my wig collection. But I really love this wig because it has like the natural part where it really kind of looks like, you know, you can actually see your scalp. And my complaint about this one is that I wish it had the hooks because with this I can't really tuck all my hair underneath because if I do that it pulls the front back so I just kind of have to whenever I wear it out I usually secure it I take a couple of bobby pins and I put them under here and just make sure that it's not gonna fall backwards and make me look like I'm balding or something <laughs> it's another one of my favorite wigs I just love ombre effects and hair I think it looks so beautiful and this is actually the first uh, lace front wig that I bought, actually. And it's from Wig is Fashion. And it's a dark blue ombre lace front. And it was $70. And this was on the more expensive side because the hair is really, really thick. And it doesn't shed as much, you know, as the other stuff that I have. And this is held up. I've had this for also over a year, and it's held up really, really well. My only problem with this wig is that when I first got it, and I had no idea what I was doing because I'd never owned a lace front before, so I, silly me, I cut the top a little strange. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> so now I have this weird little part, and it just kind of floats on my head. And no matter what I do to kind of tighten it up with the back, it just kind of, you know, sticks there. I feel like Ariel in this one. <laughs> Now this is also from Wigas Fashion, I believe, and it was $70 because it's also a lace front. However, a couple of problems with it. Um, it was came as very, you know, curly, bouncy, and that's good. But after time went on, I don't know if you can see, the curls have gotten really messy and kind of, uh, what do you call them? Just messy. And then when I tried to brush it out, this happened. So I was like, <laughs> I don't want to do that to the whole wig. <laughs> so I have not brushed it. 
And I know I've looked up some tutorials and people have said that, you know, I know with curly wigs you brush them out, you wash them, and you kind of like set them, you know, when they dry, but uh, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to lose all this volume forever. So I can, I don't know, I've just kind of left it as it is. I haven't really tried to brush through it. So there's that. And then also, I don't know if this is, again, a defective wig or what happened, but if you guys can see, this top is all kinds of screwed up. There's like little bits of hair that are just sticking straight up. I mean, it's just, it's weird. And I didn't cut off the other part like I did with the blue one. I didn't mess up the, the cutting of this one. Like The cutting of this one was pretty decent on my part. And I don't know why, but for whatever reason, whenever I like style it, you can see the wig cap clearly, no matter what I do, and I tried to straighten this as well, which is why this is kind of a little less curly than the rest of it. And then when I tried to s curl it back up again, it wouldn't work. And this wig was advertised as being like heat friendly and you can style it and all that stuff, so I have kind of been disappointed in that aspect of it. But other than that, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's really thick and curly. And the lace front is nice, but just the top is so weird. I don't know what's going on with that. So this way I usually keep to using it for photo shoots or for makeup looks. And I don't really wear this out. And if I do, then I'll usually put like a beanie or something just to cover up all the, the weird stuff going on up there at the top. But other than that, it's a nice wig. This is another pastel goth wig that I love. I actually got this one on Wish.com. And it was $17, which is pretty cheap considering, you know, the quality of the wig. It's really nice, soft hair. The curls have held up really well over time. And it's really nice and long, which is fabulous. I like this wig, but some issues with it. <laughs> I feel like everything I've talked about in the last couple of wigs has been like, well... But uh, this wig is a little thin up on the top. Like, if I do this, you can clearly see my hair under there. So I usually wear this one with either like a headband or a hat to cover it. But other than that, it's a really beautiful wig. I love how thick and soft the curls are and it's super long. This is uh, listed as a Lolita anime wig, which I can kind of see. But I really, I just love the pastel purple color and I think it's really gorgeous. So, ta-da! <laughs> this is like Lady Gaga status. <laughs> This wig is insane. <laughs> the volume and the curl, it's crazy. And it's super long, as you can see. And this I also got on Wish.com. It's just a curly, you know, orange wig. And this was $33. And it was actually billed as a Merida cosplay wig. I've actually never seen the movie Brave, but I've always seen, you know, the Disney posters with her with her little bow and arrow, and I thought it was really pretty. And the quality of this wig is amazing. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. It is huge. It is absolutely ginormous. And the curl has stayed really, really well. This is also, I think, about a year old. And the color is beautiful. It doesn't tangle. It doesn't frizz. The only thing is that it's not a lace front. So if you look close and if you don't have it positioned correctly, you will see your, your actual hair there. But I usually just kind of do this and everyone's... It was funny, when I wore this out one time, uh, this woman, I was going out to eat with my friends. And she did like... It was, she was like an older woman and she did a double take and she was like, God bless your hair, girl. <laughs> Which was hilarious. So it is quite realistic looking, so I can understand why she would have thought that it was real. It was just funny for someone to say, God bless your hair, girl. Mm, yes, girl. <laughs> so this is quite the wig. This is not for the faint-hearted. And yeah, it's just, I have no complaints about it. I love it. It's ridiculous and over the top. Just fabulous. <laughs> oh, this wig. <laughs> I am a huge Lady Gaga fan, so when I saw that she wore a wig like this to one of, I think it was one of her concerts, I just had to have something like it, so I was like, okay, I need to find something like this. And on Instagram, I follow this company called Lock Shop Wigs, and I saw that they were having a special on this wig, and it was from their premium collection. Unfortunately, they don't carry it anymore, it was kind of like a limited edition thing, but it was called Premium Electric, it's a lace front wig, and it was $70. 
and this wig is so long <laughs> it is ridiculous it is so gorgeous I love it it's the hair is soft you know the only thing about it is that but this comes with like the territory of having like a super pin straight wig it tangles really easily so if you were to wear it for like a photo shoot or something for a couple of hours that would probably be fine but if you were wearing it as like an everyday fashion wig it tangles so easily which is kind of frustrating because you know see even this right here it's starting already <laughs> and the area that I find tangles the most is right up under here right under the nape of my neck I don't know why just even when I'm sitting you know I've worn this to work a couple of times and even when I'm just sitting there you know just kind of like typing away on my computer it'll tangle so I don't know why that happens I guess it's just the nature of straight hair to tangle more easily and it is a synthetic wig I don't own any human hair wigs because they're incredibly expensive I think the cheapest one that I ever saw was like $500 or something like that so I'm gonna stick to my synthetic ones for now <laughs> when I get rich then I'll have my human hair wigs but I do love this wig though it is a gorgeous color and when it's not tangled it looks really pretty so there's that this is the queen mother, the goddess of all my wigs. Save the best for last. This is my most recent purchase, other than the two that are on their way here. But it's a wig from Powder Room D, also known as Hair He Goes on Instagram or Darnell Wald. He's based in New York City. And he makes the most incredible synthetic wigs. He also makes human hair wigs, but they're <laughs> out of my price range. He was having a holiday sale recently, and I was like, hmm, I've heard good things about him. Let me go see which one I can find in the sales section that I can get that I would like. So I found this one, and it's called the Silver Vamp Wig, and it was $75 on sale. Now I looked at his website today, and it's back to its original price, which is, which, <laughs> which is $150. Bit pricey, I know, I know. But... It's heat safe, 24 inches long, and completely worth it in my opinion. This wig is the most gorgeous thing I own. It is so long. It might be longer than 24 inches. I don't know if his website's right about that. But the hair, it's like, it's better. You can feel it's, it's obviously not real, but it's so, it's like feather soft. It's so light. And a lot of my other wigs I've gotten really hot in, like, not the lace front ones, but like the, the normal cosplay ones. This one, it lets your hair breathe, lets your head breathe. And it was funny. I don't know why people think that people who have tattoos, piercings, or different colored hair, that gives you the right to go up and touch them without asking. But I was shopping with my mom, and I was wearing, I don't know if I was, I was either wearing this wig or my bright blue one that I just showed you guys. And I was in Ulta shopping for makeup, and this, I guess she was from the salon in the back. She comes up to me and says, oh my gosh, I love your hair. And I was like, oh, thank you. And all of a sudden she comes up and she starts doing this. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you touching me? <laughs> and she's like, oh, it looks really beautiful. And I was like, yeah, it's a wig. And she's like, oh, really? Well, I love the part. It looks really good. <laughs> Personal space violation times a thousand. So I don't really understand that, but next time, because <laughs> I was kind of caught off guard, which is why I didn't say anything. I was like, don't touch me. Please stop touching me. But next time I'll be like, excuse me, please don't touch me. You know, if, if she had at least asked first, I wouldn't have minded. But it's kind of weird to just go up to someone and be like, let me touch your face. Let me touch your hair. I like it. Let me touch everything. Don't do that to people. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this wig best thing ever I love it and it is it is a pin straight wig obviously but I find that this one is actually really easy to untangle as opposed to the premium electric one that I have the blue one I don't know why I'm assuming it's because it's a higher quality synthetic wig and I don't know if you guys are interested but what I use I used to use like a little doll brush which is really soft to untangle my wigs and it worked okay but now got this at Ulta speaking of Ulta I have this, it's called the Mini Detangler, and I think it was like seven or eight bucks, but the secret of this one is that the bristles are really, really soft, and they're wide spaced, so when you brush, 
it gets all the tangles out, but it doesn't come away with, you know, it comes away with little to no hair. And this wig doesn't shed at all, which is amazing. <laughs> but yeah, this is absolutely my favorite wig out of all the wigs that I own. So I highly recommend Powder Room D. I'll leave a link down to his social media and go check out all his wigs. He sent wigs to all of like the popular makeup gurus on Instagram, so I'm sure you've seen his work one way or another if you're interested in makeup and on Instagram. Now to finish this off, I have three more wigs, but they are some of the ones that I first bought when I was getting into wigs, and so I've kind of retired them now. I only really use them like if you know family or friends want to like come over and like play with some wigs, then I'll let them use those, but I personally don't wear them anymore, but they're just on the cheaper side. There's nothing really wrong with them, other than the fact that you know you can see you know right through to the the wig cap. You can see your head, stuff like that. So that's the reason why I've retired them. Not that they've gone bad or anything. <laughs> so this is the very first wig I ever bought, and it is from Five Below. I don't know if anyone not from New Jersey knows about that store, but it's kind of like a dollar store, but everything's five dollars or less. So it was around Halloween, and I wanted to have purple hair, so <laughs> this is the wig that I bought, my very first one. And as you can see, it's gone through quite a lot, and the hair is not good. The quality is, it's a cheap costume wig, you know, and you can see the wig cap and all that fun stuff, but yeah, this is my very first wig that I ever bought. <laughs> This is another one of my retired wigs, and it's kind of like a, got like a scene emo feel to it. And this one I think I bought on Amazon, and at the time, I don't know why, I just really really wanted blue hair for some reason, so I was like, okay, I need to find a blue wig right now. So I looked on Amazon and I found this, and it's a cosplay wig. It's actually not that bad of quality, but the hair, as you can see, <laughs> over time it's gotten a little ratty. And this is only $10, so that's to be expected with the, you know, you get what you pay for kind of a thing. And the bangs actually came um, straight across, like some of my other wigs, and I cut them into this style. So this is another one of my little retired wigs. <laughs> and last, this is my third retired wig. And I actually got this wig for free. Originally I think it was something like $20 on Amazon. And the reason I got it for free is because it was advertised as being a long, wavy, anime cosplay wig, you know. And it's really quite long, as you can see. But the hair is really, really thin. And the quality is not that great. But the thing that bugged me about it was that on the website, it came pin straight. And on the website it showed the picture of it being this really beautiful, really curly, thick, you know, luscious, wavy wig. So I was like, oh, this looks beautiful and I love the color. I still do really love the color. I wish I had a wig that was this color in better quality, but oh well. <laughs> so I contacted the company when I got it. I was like, hey, this wig isn't wavy at all. It's completely pin straight. This is not what I wanted. So they gave me the option of getting my money back, so I took it, and they let me keep the wig. So, here it is. <laughs> and that about concludes it for my wig video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed trying on all my little wiggies for you guys, and if you have any questions about any of them, feel free to ask in the comments, you know, if I forgot something, or if you want to know specific details about a certain wig, feel free to ask. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.